Hallelujah. I appreciate God Almighty for another privilege to meet today. We thank God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we ask of Him. I will thank you for the journey of the week. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for what God is going to do. I appreciate God for your life. I appreciate God for our lives. I appreciate God for our individual family. Blessed be His holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, I welcome you to this meeting. I seek your total cooperation, uh, your devotion, your diligence as we go into the prayer. God Almighty will strengthen you. God will support you. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we pray. Our loving Father, I appreciate you. I thank you because you are the Lord of Lords. I thank you because you are the King of Kings. I thank you because you are the Ancient of Tears. Your name is Almighty God. There is no other description to describe you. I just appreciate you for this moment. Be thou lifted up and be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into prayer room right now, Father, take your place. Hear our cry. Let our supplication be heard of you in the name of Jesus. I pray for as many that is going to be sharing this video, as many that are going to be praying faithfully through this prayer meeting, Father, bless them. Let their testimony abound in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, I welcome you all to this meeting. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Uh, please turn your Bible with me to the book of Psalm 37, verse 23. Today we will be praying on Define Direction. Define Direction. Turn with your Bible with me to the book of Psalm, 30, Psalm 37. I will read verse 23 before we go into the prayer. I am reading from here. The Bible says that Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. I read it again. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Our God is interested in those that have put their trust in Him. If you trust in the Lord, if you put your trust in the Lord, He will not disappoint you. That is our God for you, and that's what our God can do. All you need to do is just believe in God. Cast your burden upon the Lord. He cares very much for your needs. Trust in Him. He will direct you. Early in the morning, cry unto Him. When you want to take any action, believe in Him. Commit your way into the hands of God. He will never let you down. He's a faithful God. In the book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Uh, the word of God says, He said, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Praise the Lord. So it is, I uh, welcome Pastor, uh, Pastor Kajubola. God bless you, sir. You see, the Bible says, if you trust in the Lord, if you wait upon the Lord, you will hear from Him. He will show you where to go. He will say, turn this way, turn the other way around. That is the extent of which Holy Spirit can do. But when we try to do things in our own way, that is where problems always come from. The Bible says expressly, He said, uh, he said whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear the voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. Can you imagine? So, if you believe in God, He will direct your faith. I want to I, I welcome Daddy, our Reverend uh, Olajide. Welcome to this meeting. My brother, Sunday, are you back from uh, Jerusalem? That is my latest uh, JP. God bless you. You see, our God is a faithful God. If you do His bidding, if you follow Him diligently, You see that you die on every part. The Bible says if you turn left, if you turn right, you will be hearing the word of God. You will be telling you. Can you just imagine that God goes to the extent to dictate or to tell his own child that there's there's going to be traffic in the path you want to take? Don't take this route, take the other way around. Do know to the extent if you if you I, I mean if you embrace God, if you commit your way to the hands of God. God can equally tell you the kind of dress to put on. 
Maybe you want to go attend an interview or you are going somewhere. God can tell you, say, this is the kind of dress you should put on. This is the kind of the color that is going to match where you are going to. That is the extent to which God, uh, God can do. And that's exactly what we are telling us, even as we pray, on divine direction today. We need a direction from God about our career. You are about to get married. You need a direction from God. Don't apply your wisdom. Application of personal wisdom always fails a man. But when you inform God, God will never let you down. God will never disappoint you. Look at the life of Abraham. Abraham was to be a child, I mean, a, a wife uh, uh, to, to, to his son. He sent the servant, say, Go to that place. You will be directed. You see, you need a direction from God. Anyone that I mean does seek a direction from God can never make a mistake. In any area of your life, when this thing is right, God will tell you it is right, you can go for it. The Bible, I mean, the, 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 the angels appear unto Joseph in a dream. He told him, say, carry that child, that baby, run, run to I mean, run away until when the time, because before you bring him back, I will make sure that all his enemies they are passed on. That is what God can do. God will make sure that He directs your path. He makes sure that you don't take a wrong step. But many of us today, we just embark on a journey based on our own idea. This is how Mr. A did his own. I want to go that way. It may not be in, I mean, in tune or in align with what God intended for you. Because the way God will handle Mr. A's issue is not the way he's going to handle your own case. All you don't believe is that God is God of Almighty. He's an encompassing God. He can do, he does things the way he pleases him and no one can query him. It's the same God that, okay, a man touches the Ark of Covenant, he died. And it's the same God that uses the Ark of Covenant to transform me, the prosperity of another man. That is God for you. It's the same God that a twin it was in the womb. And God decided that I love one and I hate the other one. So if you commit your way into the hands of God, He knows how to direct your affairs. He will never allow you to, to take a wrong step. He will not allow you to make a mistake. Because He knows that you answer a name, I mean, to, to, to His own name. He, he, he cherishes you so much. That's why He said, commit your way into the hands of God. I mean, as of God, He will direct you, He will pilot you. He will not allow you to take a wrong step. You want to, by the time you want to get married, there are a lot of people, when they want to get married, you know, when they are cancelled, or their pastor is uh, uh, twice a day, have you prayed to this, they say, ah, in fact, that sister, before I even met her, I dreamed this way, I dreamed, if you are, if you, are, if, you are, if, if you deceive your pastor, you cannot deceive your God. When you get into that marriage, when situation begins to manifold, you are now lamenting. No, if you allow God to direct you, God will never, never take you in the wrong state, in the wrong way. He will ensure that anything that belongs to you, it will go into tandem with his own, I mean, with his own timing. But when you want to jump even the lane, you want to move on the fast lane, that's how many people they run into Waterloo. I pray you never be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Even when you want God to direct you, you must, Mimi, you must drop your ear after prayer. Seek the face of the Lord. God will always speak. Look at the life of Elijah. At a point in a time in time, Elijah said he wanted to hear from God. A situation was there and he was waiting. You know, there was a wild wind. There was all this kind of this thing. He was expecting that he wanted to see God. But at the end of the outcome, God spoke in a very minor, tiny, I mean, short, I mean, I mean, language that he was even hearing God. So the way many of us we thought God will appear or we handle our case might not be the way we intend it. Of course, when you are now preempting God, this is the way I want my miracle to be. I want to get that uh, limousine. When I get it now, I'm going to disgrace my people. I won't. No, that is not. Maybe that is not the way God wants it. It may not even be that limousine you need at material time. It could be another thing. God will say, okay, these are the things you need. You will go in that direction. I pray God Almighty. We order yourself as from now onward in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wrong step you have taken in the time past, God in his own infinite mercy will correct them in the mighty name of Jesus. There are many of us today, we are running a ministry where it is not yet time for us to launch out. You are supposed to wait to finish your training. When God says, okay, it is time, high time, move. But many of us, because of one thing or the other, we just rush out. And when you rush out, the problem is always there. There are a lot of many men of God. They have lost. They have lost their. I mean, their anointing. 
Not because they deliberately want to do it, but because they not waited for the appointed time. And when they are doing things and when things are not, I mean, when things is incoherent, at the end of the day, they want to apply their own wisdom so that they will not experience any shame. At the end of the day, they lose contact with God. The Bible says in the book of John chapter, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, God told the Joshua categorically, say, don't allow this war, this war, don't allow the covenant, the commandment, the covenant, every, don't allow it to depart from you. Make sure that you meditate day in, day out. Many of us today, we are not ready to take order from God. And the moment you are not ready to take order from God, there's going to be a problem. I believe God for you today. God will direct your affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. There are a lot of, a lot of us, if you ask us, how do we hear from God? Many of us cannot even tell the way we do hear from God. And there has no being that God never speaks to. God must speak to you through the word. God must speak to you through I mean, prayer, through, through, through dream. God can send his messenger to speak or to minister to you. But many of us, we are not humble enough to take this thing. You need to learn, maybe from your spiritual father, God can send them to brighten your future. But many of us, because of pride, we don't want to learn anything. We want to just move on the first lane. It is very dangerous for our well-being. And that is the reason many of us, many people, their ministry, their vision, it has crash landed. I pray it will never be your portion. In any area that you are granted, the Lord shall lift you up in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to begin to appreciate God Almighty. Thank God Almighty for the journey so far. Thank God for the journey of this current year. Thank you because there are a lot of people we started this year together. They have gone. They can never come back again. But you are still in the land of the living. Why not just appreciate God? Say, Father, I thank you. A journey of 24 hours is not an easy job. But God saw you through. Even unto this moment. Why not say, Father, thank you. Just appreciate God for your life. For where you worship today, say, God, thank you for the church of God. Thank you for my pastor. Thank you for the message that was released to me. Appreciate God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I still want you to thank God Almighty. Remember, the Bible says He sent His word. He, his word delivered us. He set us free and delivered us out of our destruction. Why not thank God Almighty for the word of God? Assuming there is no word of God today, it will have been another story entirely. Why? Because God exalted His word more than any other thing. And the Bible says, We are those, they, I mean, where there is no dust, says the Lord. People, they are in bondage, they are in trouble. But the Spirit of God is sovereign, it's around there. Say, Father, thank you for the word. Thank you because you have exalted your word. Father, I thank you. Thank you for the word of God that is life. Appreciate God Almighty. It is the same word of God that enables you and I to be able to communicate today. It is the same word of God that gives us hope and life, future. Say, Father, thank you for the word you have exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I want you to ask God, Lord, as from now onward, order my steps. I want you to order my step. I don't want to take a wrong step. Father, in your mercy, order my step. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, my Father, please order my step. I don't want to go on my own. I don't want to apply my own understanding. Father, I need you. I want you to order my step. Any action, anything I want to do, and from now onward, let it be directed from above. Order my step, Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, order my step. For the many days to go in this year, Lord, continue to order my step. Continue to order my step. I want to go to Mountain Top. Order my step. I want to start this business. Order my step. I want to venture into that ministry. Order my step. I need your directive. I need your I, 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 I need your order. I need you, Father, to put me through. In any form, I need your counsel, Lord. I can't do it. I've tried it. I've failed. I know I, I, a man at first will lead to a crash. But Lord, I know with you, I will get there. Father, I from now onward, I want you to order my step. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to come to God Almighty. Every wicked altar that I put in a place monitoring your destiny, ask God to destroy it totally. The wicked altar kept somewhere monitoring your destiny. God need to crash them, to destroy them. Say, oh Lord, my Father, I pray right now, every wicked altar, that have been erected in a place monitoring my destiny, destroy it by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. No, in in, 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 in the dark world, they are monitoring, they are gazing your destiny. They want to know they have preempted you where you are going. Ask God, 
as God is ordering your step, let God demolish every wicked altar that is monitoring your movement, your step, your action in the name of Jesus. It's like many of us today, we have turned social media to be another place, no secret any longer. And it is very easier for enemy to capture some people because everything about them, they are already displayed on social media. Ask God Almighty, every wicked author, as many that go to my profile page in order to take my picture for evil purposes, as many that are watching what I'm doing live in order to destroy my destiny, Father, destroy them in return. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you out there that as many wicked altars that are kept or erected in a place, in a corner, monitoring your movement, monitoring your life, may God destroy them totally. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to pray unto God Almighty. You say every altar, remote, remote controlling my affairs, let them catch fire. Every altar, Remote controlling my affairs. There are certain authors that have been rented or read by UK people that they are now remoting your destiny. They are now remoting your journey of life. Let them destroy by fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire arise and destroy them totally. In the mighty name of Jesus, every author, every remote control model that are remoting, I mean, controlling my life negatively. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, catch fire now. I pray for you. I join my faith with you out there. My listener, my viewers, I join my faith with you. Every remote control that the enemy is using in a corner to remote the destiny of your father, I mean of your destiny, of your, of, of your family, of your children, of your marriage, I decree fire of Holy Ghost to catch them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, many people they can't do things when they have a good intention, but someone, someone, I mean, someone along the line, they remote control it, and things are now working upside. I pray for you today. Every remote control that is negative, in, that is negative, negating your destiny, negating your vision, turning around your situation upside down. I say that you catch fire today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to ask God Almighty. God will position you in a right position and at the right time. You need God's position so that you have the feeling you know when God intend a good thing for you. There are a lot of people when it is their time for promotion or for them to be remembered. They are no longer, they are nowhere to be found. You are going to say, Oh Lord, my Father, position me at the right time, position me at the right place and at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, reposition me to a place where you have destined me to be. Reposition me in that organization. Realign me with your own plan for my own good life. In the name of Jesus, I need your reposition for the right time, for the right moment. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my brother. I pray for you, my sister, that the right information needed, the Lord will reposition you. You shall be positioned right enough to receive the right signal. In the name of Jesus, there are a lot of people they apply for I mean for unemployment, and when they get when they, they, they when they submit their resume, they promise that they will get back to them. When it's time for them to be called, they are calling them. The network was so bad they couldn't reach out to them. It is the work of darkness. You are going to cry to God Almighty. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, receive I me, mean, reenact my signal, reposition my signal to re, to, be, to, to be able to receive. At the right time, let my antenna be repositioned to be able to receive the right signal. At the right time, the antenna of my life, the antenna of my destiny, the antenna of my marriage, let them be repositioned in the right direction that they be able to receive the right network. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today. Your spiritual antenna is now repositioned. It's now reignited to receive the right information, to receive the right I mean, networking. In the name of Jesus, failure is no longer your portion. No more disappointment. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to ask God Almighty. Ask God to help you to recover all the lost grants. There are lost opportunities. There are lot of what many of us we have wasted our time, our resources. The time we supposed even to be, to be to be tuned. We have wasted. Ask God, oh Lord, my Father. Help me to recover all my lost grants. Where you ought to be granted, where you ought to be established 
where you ought to be a man a child. You have missed the opportunity to say, Oh Lord, my father, help me to recover all my lost grants in the mighty name of Jesus. Where I ought to be, where I ought to, I mean, to, to, to perform excellently. I have missed the opportunity, but it's never too late for me. Father, help me now. Help me now, oh Lord, my father. Because the word of God says, He said, When the captivity of Zion are returned unto them, it's like them that are dreaming. Ask God today, help me to recover my lost ground. I want to cover up. I want to get there. In this kingdom, it is allowed. You can run a race and meet up with those that have gone ahead of you and still overtake them. Oh Lord, my Father, help me to recover my lost glory. Help me to recover my lost ground. Help me to be a man in charge of my destiny. Help me to be a man in charge of my ministry. Help me to be in charge, oh Lord. I don't want anyone to man my place. I don't want anyone to take my position. I join my faith to pray for you out there. I say, God will help you to recover all your lost glory. All your lost ground, you shall recover them. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe in what God can do, the efficacy of the prayer, I say God will recall, God will recover for you your lost ground, your lost glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sheer opportunity that have slipped away from you, I pray for you today. Begin to recollect them, begin to recover them, and do exploit for God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed, brethren. Do you know the reason why you need to recover your lost ground? There's no glory when you miss, you know, you contest for an elective office. And there's uh, someone along the line, you know, has an edge above you. And others, they are not concerned, you say, take her, take her, don't worry, don't worry. Next time will be your place. Go there. Brethren, for the period, you are, no, you are nowhere to be found. But anywhere you have lost in the spiritual, in the physical, through the help of the Holy Spirit, you shall recover them all. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to cry to God Almighty. You say, Oh Lord, my Father, give me spirit of wisdom and revelation. Oh Lord, my Father, give me spirit of wisdom and revelation to be able to, I mean, to discover so that you have new idea, new revelation about what to do. Many of us we are loaded, but we don't have that revelation. We don't have the wisdom to apply them. That's the reason why you see many prophets there. No, they will prophesy, and at the end of the day, nothing is forthcoming. Not that they did not receive it, but because they don't have the wisdom to be able to present their prophecy. When you have, when you receive a prophecy, or when you have a revelation, you need to process it through the help of the Holy Spirit, and you need the wisdom of God to put it down. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, give unto me a fresh wisdom and a revelation to be able to counter and to move to the next level of my de- of, of, of the face of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. Ask God, I need wisdom, I need understanding, I need knowledge, and above all, I need revelation. I need revelation, Father. Reveal unto me, give me a new idea, give me the, no, no, a situation where things are so tense in the nation, or in, the, in, the, in the country. And people, they try to find solution, they could not provide solution. Someone just come and say, do it this way. Look at the life of a, uh, I mean, that brigade, I mean, that army general. He was a leper. He was a leper, a commander for that matter. He was a leper. But a little out there gave him a revelation. He said, sir, why don't you do it this way? The man got to the street where he was asked to drink, to, 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 I mean, to bow. He was, just look at me, myself, how should I do? But one of the, of the servants, he said, sir, why don't you do it? You need a revelation. Say, oh Lord, my father, I need a revelation. A revelation that will permit me to provide a lasting solution to the economic crisis of my nation. I need that revelation that will resolve the situation. They say, go to that. You no, know, look at Daniel. In that Babylon, he was a prisoner of war. But because God gave him a revelation, he has the key for his own generation. They went to him when do no other Susia could not give the um, interpretation to the dream of the king. He, they went to him. He was able to look at Joseph in the palace. Look at Joseph even in the prison. He has the key of revelation. And God walked with him. Say, oh Lord, my father, give me new wisdom. Give me new idea. Give me new revelation to excel in my ministry. To excel in my undertaking. To excel in my business. To excel in whatever I lay my hands to do. I pray for you today. A kind of revelation you need. 
that will take you to the next level, that will become the most sick person on earth, the Lord which shall deliver to you today, in the name of Jesus. I say that's your child, I say that's your daughter, I say that's your boy, that is not doing well, that they have become a, a sort of worry for your family. Today, the Lord shall give unto you the revelation you need to tell your impact to the word of the, of the righteousness, in the name of Jesus. So shall live in, in Jesus Mighty name we are praying. You are going to ask God Almighty. You need a revelation about your life. If God gives you the revelation about your life, you know we have to do the correction. Say, oh Lord, my Father, reveal unto me everything about my life. Father, reveal unto me everything about my life. Everything I need to know about my life. Many of us today, we don't know our own identity. Many of us today, we don't know who we are. Many of us today, we don't know the meaning of our name, but we need that revelation. Say, oh Lord, my Father, give me a revelation about myself, about my family. You need, many of us, all we need to do, we don't have any problem at all. The only problem we are having is that we need to, need to have a revelation of where you married from. If you know that revelation you be able about them, you know how to counter it. You need that revelation. Many of us today, in the organization you are working, you need to know about that organization. If you don't know how the revelation about that organization, we, don't, we will not know what to do. Ask God. The revelation about my life, that will now take my life to the next level. Give me that revelation, O oh Lord. True dream, give me that revelation. Remember the life, look at the life of Joseph. Joseph and Mary, they had their child, and they were just there. You know, the, 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 the shepherd, they came from the east to, I mean, to acknowledge Unknowingly, the king was looking for for the king, for the son, for the baby to be massacred. But the angel of God appeared to Joseph in a dream. Say, take that child and run away. You need a revelation. Say, God, give me a revelation about myself, about the I mean, my future. I need it. Where I ought to be. What the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Brethren, you need the revelation so that I'll be able to go to your foundation and do the correction. You can do it. God can do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you today. The revelation about your life, the revelation about your marriage, the revelation about your family that you need to know to be able to pray them out. That Lord shall reveal it and give you that revelation tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, you need to acknowledge it. You need to embrace it. When you know how to go about it, that damn you cannot be swallowed. That's the common saying that is a, a stream. A river that you know the source, it can never carry you away because you will know how to go about it. I pray for you today. That trouble, that predicament, that situation that you find yourself today, that you don't know the source, I pray God will give you the revelation and you'll be able to tackle it from the root in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. You are going to pray, you ask God Almighty. You need a divine direction until when you are able to tackle. The, the root of the cause of your problem, then why we just be praying? You, no matter how anointing oil that is poured on you, no matter how times they have casted demons out of you and you fall on ground, until when you are able to tackle the root of your problem, until you are able to discover it and you have to do it. Look at the life of that man, a young man. People they were celebrating, they are calling him, Oh, young man, honorable. But he went to God. Jabez, when he discovered, he said, the problem of my life, I need. He went to the source and God answered him and God turned around things for him. I pray God will turn things around for good for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you need to know the source of your problem. You need to know about where you are. You need to know where you are. You need to know. Many of us, we need to know. As at the time, they gave birth to us. Those that birth us and where they bury our umbilical cord. These are the things that you need the revelation of God. So that be able to correct all those anomalies, all those fundamental errors that is affecting your life now, they need that to be corrected. And how can you do that? No woman being can do that because you cannot get any accurate revelation. But God, through the Holy Spirit, will give you that revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray unto God Almighty. You say, Oh Lord, my Father, take me to my foundation for eternal correction. Oh Lord, my Father, take me to my foundation. For an eternal connection, correction in the name of Jesus. In the book of Psalm 11, verse 2, the Bible says, Psalm 11, verse 2, He says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Brethren, 
you can see the reason why you need to go to your foundation. Say, oh Lord, my father, take me to the foundation of my problem so that you'll be able to correct it. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you know where you have went wrong or where you have erred, you'll be able to quickly adjust. Say, my father, my father, take me to, the, to my foundation. I need to correct them. Where you need to tend an apology, you do it. Where you need to, I mean, where you need to offer sacrifice, you do that. Say, my father, my father, take me to the foundation of my problem so that I'll be able to correct it. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray unto God Almighty. Many of us, maybe what you need to do is that your household friend, the one you call your household friend, they are your enemy. Until when you know them, then you'll be able to handle them. But if you don't know them, it is the same person you run to. I want to embark on a journey. I have an idea. I want to run this business. And you run to them for a cancer. Whereas they are your enemy. They don't watch your progress. But you need God to reveal them to do. You are going to cry to God Almighty. You will say, Oh Lord, my Father, expose all household enemies pretending to be my friends. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. Expose all household enemies pretending to be my friend in the name of jesus you need them you need to know them you don't need to fight them you don't need to quarrel with them but when you know your enemy you know how to guard yourself say oh lord my father expose all my household enemy the one that you trusted the one you rely so much the one you have confidence no look at the life of rebecca rebecca has two children he lo she loved one then the husband loved the other one but look look at the situation at the end of the day, they manipulated their destiny. Why not ask God Almighty? I don't know. I am not saying Rebecca is the enemy of the children. But you can see there are a lot of people that you take as your confidant. We are right there, your enemy. They don't watch your program. They want you to be coming. To be taking bread, to be taking bread from them. They don't want you to know the source of any bakery. They don't want you to know the bakery. They just want to be giving you. Say, oh Lord, my father, I want you to expose all my household enemies that are pretending to be my friends so that I will know how to handle them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today, my sister. I pray for you today, my brother. And all the members of your family, your household, in the church of God, your so-called pastor, your so prophet that you run to all the time, that they don't know, they don't want your well, uh, your, your well being. That Lord will reveal them to you. That Lord will expose them so that you be able to guard yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray unto God Almighty. I don't know, maybe your own. You are trusting God for the life partner. You are waiting on God. Say, God, we are. You have so many people in your hands. I don't know. I don't say it's, it's, it's too good. But you need God to direct you. You are going to cry to God Almighty. Maybe you want to pray for your daughter. You want to pray for your child that is age enough to get married. But you see, they are still confused. They don't know which to, to choose. Say, oh Lord, my father, I want you to give a revelation of the future partner of this, my brother. I want you to give a revelation of the future partner of this, my sister, so that they will not make a wrong choice. It's better to make, to have, I mean, to take, a, to, to, to make mistake. But in time of marriage, if you make a mistake in marriage, it will affect your entire, entire life. Say, oh Lord, my father, give a revelation about the future partner of this, my sister. I pray for you there. You as a spinster, I pray for you there. You as a bachelor, I say your future partner, the Lord will reveal him or her to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You are going to crown to God Almighty. There are many of us, we are moving about with poison in our body, but we never take cognizance. There are many of us, we, they, we, we have a can, in our family, but we never take cognizance. Eka, in the garden of the people of God, it brought shame on them. You are going to cry to God Almighty. You will say, Oh Lord, my Father, remove from my life the spiritual poison that is now eating my eating deep into my system. Oh Lord, my Father, refill, I mean, remove from him the spiritual poison that is eating my, my eating my flesh in the name of Jesus. Ask God, re remove from my life. Any kind of spiritual poison. Many of us we are, we are fed with poison. In the name of going to social ministry, go to this, go to that, go to do it. Many of us we are so confused, don't know what to do. Why? Because they have poisoned our mind. Imagine a man grows up. You are now working. 
you are now enjoying a good income. And somebody along the line now came up and gave you a revelation. Say your mother is your problem. Don't associate with your mother again. Your mother did not kill you as an infant. While you are grown up, your mother was there with you. Your father was supporting you. But today now, they have poisoned your mind against them. Say, oh Lord, my father, every spiritual poison that is manifesting in the life of my children, by fire, by fire, father, remove them, oh Lord. There are many of us, our benefactor to be, they have been poisoning against us. They have been poisoning towards us. They don't do us any good in us any longer. People they, people, they plead with you. People, they told you, say, don't worry. Come by tomorrow. I'm going to do this. They have the way with her. They have the capacity. They have the financial muscle to bless you, to, I mean, to, to, to move to the next level. But before you get there, someone alone, like they are poisoning their mind against you. Say, oh, Lord, my father, every spiritual person that is walking in my destiny, by my see, oh Lord, today, remove them. Every spiritual poison that is working in my destiny, Father, by mercy, remove them. I want you to remove it in my marriage. Every spiritual poison in the life of my children against me, Father, by mercy, remove them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today. I join my faith with you. Every spiritual poison that is manifesting in your life, manifesting in the life of in, in, in your marriage, Manifest in the life of your kids. I pray to you today. Buddy. Go out and remove them. Go out and neutralize them. In the mighty name of God. Any form of spiritual poison that is not negating your family, that putting your future in your body. I pray today. Holy Spirit and match them out. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Many of us, you need to know the environment where you are operating. If you don't know what's obtainable in that environment, then one will be walking the way. And that's why you need to cry to God Almighty at this material time. That you need that God to give every secret, every secret about the environment where, where you are operating. Maybe you don't supposed to be there. God told Abraham, before I can listen to you, I don't need, I want you to leave your kindred and go to a place where I'm going to show you. Had it been that I mean Abraham. Never he died the voice of God. It will be another thing we may not have heard about Abraham today. You need to tell God Almighty. You know, the Bible tells us, what I say, in Gerard, he planted and he made a great effort. Don't forget that he moved, he removed away from where he was. I want you to crown to God Almighty. Say, oh Lord, my father, the secret I need to know about the environment where I find myself today, reveal unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Like one of my books published, Environment for Success. Environment for Success. I treated this kind of case very well there. If you have not gotten the copy, I, I, I mean, I encourage you, get the copy. You can get it through Amazon. Say, oh Lord, my Father, repeat unto me the secret about the environment where I'm operating. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you don't know where you are operating, where you ought to in a principle of economics, I remember we were taught them. That there are something we call location of an industry. You need to locate, you need to have an idea where to locate your industry. If you don't know what is obtainable spiritually and physically, where you are transacting your business, there's going to be a problem. Say, hold oh on, my father. The secret I need to know about the environment where I am at today, give unto me. Many of us today, in the course of building a house, we bought a landed property that have been dedicated to another goddess. That have been dedicated to evil spirit that you we, we are living there, it is now affecting our destiny. Say, Oh Lord, I need to do that. And by any reason, say, Oh Lord, my father, where I am today, any kind of spiritual I mean, forces that is operating in the environment where I am, that is asking for vengeance, say, Oh Lord. Feed them with the blood of Jesus Christ that they will not have effect over my destiny. They will not have effect over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you today. I say every power, every demon, every environmental spirit that is demanding vengeance, that is demanding a ransom from you spiritually, that they did not allow you to move forward. I pray for you today that the Lord has silenced them. I feed them with the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that have no contamination. You are set free today in the mighty name of Jesus. You can no longer be under the tutelage of any environmental forces. In the name of Jesus, I rededicate your life there. 
I did dedicate your life, my sister. I did dedicate your destiny, my sister. I did dedicate your destiny, my brother, into Jesus Christ. Therefore, Jesus have your destiny. And you begin to manifest a greatness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to pray unto God Almighty. You will ask God. I need a revelation. I need a revelation that will move me finally to a new level. It is just a revelation you need. David caught a revelation. I bought a stone and a sling. And he picked that stone among the stone he has there. And it was that stone that put paid to Goliath's life and the life of the, uh, of the people of God. Say, oh Lord, I need a revelation that will move me finally to my destination. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, my father, I need a revelation that will move me finally to my destination. In the name of Jesus, where I shall break forth. When you break forth, you can never come down. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today. The revelation you need that will finally place you on the level of the cadastra where you belong. The Lord shall reveal to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, brother, as you are rounded up, you are going to cry to God Almighty. You will say, Oh Lord, I am coming out from wherever I am locked up in Jesus' name. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, I am coming out from wherever I have been locked up in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. Where your destiny has been locked up, I say, Where your marriage has been locked up, I say, You are coming out now. You are coming out a new fresh. You are coming out a new entity. You are coming out a new champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. And it doesn't matter. No matter how many times you have failed. It doesn't matter what you have weathered. It doesn't matter how many times you have failed. I say now. You are coming out. Where you have been locked up. In the book of uh, Psalm 45. The Bible says. The richest in, in the secret places. Has been given unto you. I pray for you today. Where you have been locked up. Where your dinner have been locked up. Where your marriage have been locked up. The dinner of your family. Of your children. Of your spouse. Where they have been locked up. I command in the name that is above every other name. I say come out now. Come out triumphantly. In the name of Jesus. I say come out a new champion. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus mighty name. Finally brethren. You are going to crown to God Almighty. You decree with the word of your mouth. You say, I lift every embargo on my womb. As many that are trying to go for the fruit of the womb. There are many people, they have declared for you. You have heard it. The doctor have said, you cannot bear child in life again. Some people, they say, you cannot be, you cannot be pregnant. You are going to throw your womb. And if you want to stand it for someone else, you can do that. Say, oh Lord, my father, I lift every embargo on my womb. In the name of Jesus, declare it. You want to stand in for your friend, your sister, your daughter, your son, wherever they are. Believe in the word of God. Touch your womb. Say, oh Lord, my father, every embargo that has been placed on my womb, on the womb of my sister, on the womb of my brother, I, I leave embargo upon it now. I leave that embargo now. In the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says, there shall be no barrier in the land. I pray for you today. That womb begin to be fruitful now. I said that womb begin to carry your pregnancy now. I said that marriage begin to blossom. In joy of the Lord. The joy of marriage shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. I pray for that womb. I pray for that home. I pray for that marriage. That there will be experience, sadness every month. In the name that is above every other name. I said that womb now shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, as many that are mocking your womb, mocking your marriage, because it's not fruitful, I pray as I join my faith with you today, I say that Lord has disappointed them, that Lord has put them into shame, because you are going to be of your fruit in the next nine months, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Brother, I thank God for the journey so far. And this is where we are going to rest our anchor today. Our God is a faithful God. We have prayed unto him for divine acceleration, for divine direction. I believe God, God will continue to direct our affairs. He will not leave us alone. In the name of Jesus. Before I sh before we close the I mean, draw the curtain, I want you to take this prayer point. As now coming, 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 coming to my mind fresh now. You are going to cry to God Almighty. We say, Oh Lord, my Father, scatter every garment of wretchedness in my life. Every garment of wretchedness. Every garment of wretchedness. 
Remove it from our life. Remove it from my family. Remove it now, now, now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that has to do with wretchedness is not my portion. It's not my portion. Because the Bible says, I wish above all, thou may thou prosper. I pray for you today. No, I mean, no situation where Kajo will bring you down any longer. You shall never be a liability in any form. I take it again. You we shall never be a liability in any form to anybody, to any nation, to any family. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. I appreciate every one of you uh, that faithfully you believe in what God is doing uh, in this program. May you be richly blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, all your data you are born, me to I mean to, to, to glue to this program it shall never be a waste in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge every one of you. You believe in the God that has served, that is able to turn things around. You will have a wonderful testimony. A testimony that no one be able to, I mean, doubt it, shall be the portion of your family. In the name of Jesus. Uh, if you want, uh, if you have want to advise or have a counsel, or maybe that's a word you need for us. You can reach out to us through uh, uh, I mean, our site that is being projected on the screen. You can check us out on our website www.mercyplusministries.com I take it again www.mercyplusministries.com Or maybe if you want to send us an email, you can do so through Citadel of Mercy. Citadel of Mercy at gmail.com I want to appreciate Sister Kemi for joining us. God bless you. You'll be richly blessed. We pray today on divine direction. May God the order your steps aright in the name of Jesus. Until when we meet next time, may God bless you. May your testimony be outstanding in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. When next you will be hearing from each other, shall be a powerful testimony. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Go out there. Go and experience the greatness of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.